You guys, look at how freaking cute this set of Japanese shops is. I, I love everything about it. Look at all of the detail. Look at all of the clutter. Look, there's even a little fountain down there. Oh my gosh. And there's a cute little bulletin board. That is a adorable little painting store. There is a really cute little cafe with plenty of plants out front right over here. We've even got like a little clutter section. I think this is just supposed to be like a cute little clutter shop where you can sell various knickknacks. <gasps> Look at all of that. Oh my gosh. Are those yarn balls? Are those yarn balls just tucked inside of that shop? It is! Oh, I had no idea that this was actually a yarn shop when we came here for our very special thing that we're doing today. But it is legitimately a yarn shop and that means that it is going to be the perfect place. Oh, this is so cute. I didn't even know there was this new mural. Look at that. Oh wow, I really love this. Oh, I've never even seen some of this knitting like decor before. This is really cool. I love how they blew up the baskets to make them like really big baskets that you could dig through. Oh, I love the detail in here. And look at the little yarn balls. Oh wow, I've never seen that before. Oh, I love this. Okay, this is amazingly made. This is really amazingly made. Oh my gosh, and we've already finished up the knitting project, so I need to introduce you guys to some of this in just a second. But welcome back to our snowy sled dog legacy, I guess, my friends? I guess it's a legacy. We'll probably have plenty of puppies, and I guess it's going to be a legacy of puppies at the very least. But welcome back to Snowy Sled Dogs, everybody. And we are actually here at this amazing Japanese shop set that was created by... Let's see. I know I had you right there. There she is. Uh, that was created by Sarah Amina. So if you're looking for some really cool shops, I highly recommend these ones. They're so detailed. I love clutter filled build likes, builds like these. And I just like put it down in the middle of town. It fits in perfectly. And there's so many cute little shops. This is so much fun. There's a little cafe that you can actually go to in here to order some food. Look at the split level they did. Look at that. Oh my gosh. And the puppies are actually inside playing with everyone. I love how we just let our dogs run wild and cross our fingers that like it's not going to make anybody mad. <laughs> Oh, that's so cute. But and then the final store, by the way, is this cute little like snowboard shop, which I really freaking love. And look at all the sleds piled up, the skis laid out. Oh man, it would be so nice to be able to do that skiing. That is just so freaking cute. I wonder if Yamachan will actually come visit if the statue is like on the lot, because that would be really, really useful. And I think we even have, yeah, we have the bits and baubles um, vending machine here. So we could even purchase some skis or some snowboards from here and say it was totally going towards um, buying things at the end of the little shop, just because I love immersion like that. We also have a really nice cold food and drinks thing, which we might buy something from to thank Ayaka for her help. But we're here, friends, right after Chomper ran away last time. Chomps, I'm so glad you're back, buddy. But we are trying to raise enough money to be able to successfully foster the little pups. Because if you guys remember, the pups actually grow up on Saturday, so we need to feed them the age up treats on Saturday for them to age up on that day because we randomized how many days they had left until they would grow up when we got the puppies in the household. And if we don't manage to pull that off before Saturday, then we won't have successfully raised the puppies. And I'm not going to let us collect any of the uh, like adoption income that we could get from the puppies being adopted back out, uh, which would really put us behind on money. It's not all about money, but it would really, really help. And it also just shows that we took good care of them. So being able to make sure that they are healthy, that they have been at least trained a little bit, and that they age up on time are how we foster the puppies correctly. And we're actually really struggling because over, oh wow, look how happy she is because Chomper came back and she met new doggy friends, which really makes Ashley very happy. Um, also, I don't know who you guys are, but like we don't really need to have a conversation with all of you. We're just trying to chill with the Yaka. So could you guys just kind of like, I, I downloaded MC Command Center and I'll show you guys why in just a second. Can you, can you guys just like leave? Like we're busy. We're really busy right now. But anyway, all right. So Ashley realized that she is desperate on funds. Her job as a social media intern, it really hasn't picked up yet. She doesn't have enough skill to really attract a lot of corporate attention yet. 
she's gotten one on her fame now that like people know about her because she posted about Chompa running away and that really got a lot of traffic towards all of her videos and all of the content that she's trying to create about becoming a great snowboarder, champion snowboarder. And also we consider that to be like her sled dogging skill too. <laughs> So she's gotten a little bit of attention, but she hasn't gotten a little bit of like corporate attention yet to be able to sponsor her and get the funds going. So we need to go ahead and have an emergency way to collect money. So we called up Ayaka and asked for some advice from our friend Ayaka, and she suggested a knitting party. Yes, that's right. We're over here and we're knitting beanies, friends. Let's go ahead and get another one going. Let's do a white tiger. And then Ayaka, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to have her go ahead and knit a beanie as well. We're going to do, let's do this blue and white bear. <laughs> but she suggested a knitting party. And I thought that was really just a, such a cute idea because we had the knitting basket and I've been meaning to use it to like try to generate a little bit of extra funds. And Ayaka is actually childish. So I thought that would be a perfect thing for her to suggest to us. Uh, and so we're trying to knit for charity basically. And the charity is our foster dog program. Also, can you people like get out of here? Can I just tell them to like leave? They're just having a fight in front of us. It's so weird. Create snowboarding video. Oh, I have no idea how to do that, but one day we're going to. Oh my gosh! You two are very disruptive to our like charity knitting project. Can you please leave? <laughs> Chomper, get him. In fact, can I have Chomper here? I'm gonna have Chomper like initiate mean, rude introduction. Just to be like, look, you need to leave my mom alone. We're gonna have that done. Like, dude, get out of here. Look at his hoity toitiness. Can you people, like, give us a little personal space, please? All right, that man, that man noped out of here. So he had enough of whatever's going on here. I mean, I, look, lady, we're in the middle of something. We really, we don't really need you here. I don't know here. Okay, there we go. Maybe she'll leave now. We don't know anything about her. But yeah, so knitting. So... Yes! Oh, Ashley can now knit socks! Oh, I'm so excited about that! That's gonna be really cool. So Ashley can now knit some socks. And she's actually learning from her friend Ayaka. And we also got the MC Command Center mod recently so that I could go ahead and randomize all of our townie skills because Ayaka is actually a townie. Could you, like, go away, dude? Like, we legitimately are not talking to you. You just walked up to us while we're trying to knit. Like, we're, are we just a captive audience or something? How rude. And hey, puppers! We'll take care of you guys in just a second. But because Ayaka's childish, I thought that would be a really fun way for her to be able to help us, like, raise money. What are you doing, dude? Like, can you just give us a little personal space, please? We're two chicks, like, trying to knit and make little beanies for dogs. In fact, we'll imagine that we're making little doggy beanies! I love that idea! Oh my gosh, I love that idea. In fact, we should be streaming this or we should be recording this. Uh, but I did download the MC Command Center so that we could randomize skills for all of the townies. And I actually found something really amazing when we randomized Ayaka's skills. She is actually a comedy genius who's pretty good at acting, really good at charisma. I also rolled a dice to determine she could only have a certain number of max skills. Oh, hey, look, it's Yamachan. No! Where'd my knitting go? We better have some unfinished projects in here. Don't worry, we still love you. Uh, beanie, it's a poor bear beanie. Oh, no! <laughs> we might need to frog that project. Oh, my gosh. Okay, frog and resume in progress in knitting project. Come on, you guys. I guess they got really excited about... Yamachan appearing. All right, you two sit down and resume your knitting project. But I'm really excited that Ayaka actually came to join us. Uh, resume in progress knitting project, please. What do you mean you can't sit here? here? Sit, sit. There you go. Ignore all of the people who are trying to distract us. And then let's go ahead and resume knitting project. <laughs> Oh, hey, yay, and Ayaka completed her knitting project. Uh, all right, and I'm just gonna have to pause for a second because everybody is like all yelling at us. Chomper, you tell this, this lady off. Like, she's being rude. She's having a rude introduction. We'll, we'll tell her off in a minute. 
Uh, oh my gosh. Okay, let me catch up with myself because all of those sims screaming at us distracted me. Anyway, Ayaka has a lot of awesome skills because we randomize these skills. So if you're wondering where they came from, they're randomized. To make sure that our townies don't become too OP, I actually did roll a dice and she could only have like four skills maxed out instead of like eight, which is what it originally maxed out for her. But she is a comedian genius who's really great at dancing. And check this out. She has level five media production. So we became friends with like the perfect person as soon as we got here. And what I'm planning on doing with her is once we become best friends with her, because I don't want to just like exploit her out the gate. But once we become best friends with Ayaka, I'm thinking that we can actually have her come over and she can help edit our videos. And then as we become, we become more famous, we might go ahead and we might make it so that she uh, gets paid to come and edit our videos. And then we could just focus on creating more videos and becoming a snowboarding champion and going on those expeditions and having those puppies. So I feel like she has really just been such a fantastic friend to have stumbled on. She's also really good at gardening. She's fairly good at handiness and she's pretty good at knitting. She, she's a better knitter than us, but so we don't abuse how much of a good knitter she is right now. I'm going to only let her knit things that Ashley can actually knit. So she can do beanies and socks right now instead of the more expensive stuff. Um, and then she also is really good at skiing, like oh, maybe too good at skiing. I thought that was pretty cool. And she's maxed out on video games, which I thought was so fitting for her because she's a childish geek. Uh, and I really love all of those things about her. And she's listed as a painter extraordinaire. But I'm going to go ahead and actually change her aspiration because I think it's kind of fun to go ahead and play with our townies like this when we're really visiting with them. And we're going to make her have the Lady of the Knits. And we're going to say that's one of the reasons that she really wanted to, like, come and knit. And that was the first thing she suggested to raise money for the foster puppies because she has knitting on the brain. And actually, well, let's go ahead and change knitting Lady of the Knits. It's not really something that we would like normally want to do, but it is something I like to think that Ashley's uh, grandpa, one of her two grandpas uh, on her dad's side, really taught her like, cause he was very big on darning your own socks and he really loved to make beanies for like his cat. <laughs> And so Ashley's like, okay, I have an old knitting kit. And to make it even more fair, I also bought uh, Ayaka her knitting kit, which is a really freaking cute one. Like, look at that. I bought it um, with our own money so that we're not being like super cheatsy and she's just producing free money for us. Though she kind of is right now. Okay, can we just like sell this? Oh no, we have to list it on Plopsy to sell it. Oh, I really was hoping we'd be able to sell it otherwise because now we're really low on money. Ah, okay. We're going to have to gift it to Ashley and then we'll have to list it on Plopsy. So there's one way we can go ahead and try to get money. Um, because it costs money to knit and because Plopsy is like going to take a little while. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's not going to work out the way I hoped. Oh, come on. I can't sell a spoiled hot dog for $5. That's just cheatsy. So we do have treasure maps I could potentially sell, but, and I don't want to sell our little, our little zim, simmy because we just started collecting them. Uh, we do have treasure maps we could sell, but the thing is, Ashley is such an adventurer. I don't think she would want to sell treasure maps. So unfortunately, as cool as this knitting project with the Yaka is, I don't think it's going to make us the money I was hoping it would today. <laughs> oh no, but at least she's making some stuff we can like list on Plopsy. Uh, that's good. Oh, I really forgot that you couldn't sell those, like legitimately. It just escaped, escaped me. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, I think Ayaka would suggest that we should be buying simis. Look, you can make a profit on simis. You buy one for 50 and you can sell it for 100. That's a profit of 50. Okay, I think, how much? Oh, we can sell this simi for 500? Oh my gosh. Okay, Ayaka is going to suggest like selling simis after this. Let's make as many knitting projects as we can. And now Ashley can knit socks. Can we knit more socks? So we'll make as many knitting projects as we can. And then we'll go ahead and we're going to sell simis to make money. Because <laughs> our friend Ayaka is a childish geek. So she'd be like, of course there's money in that. Uh, let's do multicolored crew socks now. All right. And we're both lined up for Lady of the Knits. Mm -hmm. I probably should go ahead and be like recording this now that I think about it. So we'll put it down. 
How are all of our little puppies? Did we finish another knitting project? We did! That one's actually a good one! Yay! All right, let's go ahead and give Chomps a little pet. So let's see, give special smoochies. Um, okay, we're gonna go ahead and give him a pet. And then let's go ahead and begin recording. You guys need to like back off. You guys are so mean to my dogs. Here, I'm actually, I'm tempted to like praise the pup for, for growling at that mean person. <laughs> All right, let's sit down and then let's go ahead and we're going to knit. Uh, let's knit some socks as well. And let's go ahead and knit. Ooh, these little cute low cut socks, blue and white low cut socks. Perfect. Perfect for going around when you're just walking around in your socks in a lot of the houses here in Mount Kumaribi. Oh, so cute. Ashley, go ahead and sit down. Watch out for all the puppers. We don't like have a puppy babysitter so we do have to like watch everything oh this guy's nice chomps you can go ahead and like play with this guy play initiate pet from taro man these people are like obsessed with our dogs i like how this guy's just like randomly reading a book chomps is pretty friendly oh the poppers fell down oh he's so cute we still need to train out a couple misbehaviors from them Hello, all of you random strangers. Look, we're just trying to do chomps. I probably should train out how often he barks. But I think they're trying to get our attention because they're they're like bored and hungry. Sorry, puppies. We'll work on it. We'll work on it. This is actually really cute. And look, little Yamachan's in the background. So she will show up anywhere that you put down. Um, basically anywhere that you put down her statue. All right, and then we'll list all of these on Plopsy and try to make a little bit of an income. Oh, what's the matter, Iggy? Iggy looks so sad. We'll try to feed her in a little bit. <laughs> Look at this. We have, like, no money left anymore. This is kind of cute. Maybe we'll get really lucky with our, our little simmies, which I'm sure Yaka would suggest is the next thing to do. Uh-oh. Yeah, you shouldn't you shouldn't growl at him, little one. Friendly lecture about barking, probably. Friendly request song. Alright, we got it. Chomps, I don't mind. Oh no, Chomps, did you just do that inside? Oh <gasps> Chomper, no. Lecture about drinking from Oh no, that was probably one of my other pups that did that. Oh dear. Alright, we're probably gonna need to take care of that. Yay! All right, Ayaka is now done taking care of all of those things. Let's let her go ahead and like, maybe get to know the puppers. There we go, she can play with the puppy for a minute. Oh, I love how they're doing this project. I wish they could talk to each other like while they're doing this, but I bet we'll get a huge boost from when we go ahead and have her gift so many of the items. Oh, look, and Ashley's just giddy because like Chomper is still back here. I think she'd be so happy that Chomps, like, didn't run away. All right, let's, come on, let's finish up this knitting. Yay! All right, so we have knit for five hours. And now, oh, petting Peter Panda, I love him. What's going on here? Chat with Ziva? Hi, Ziva! It's nice to meet you. I think you're new. Um, the dogs really want some attention, but before all of that, oh my gosh, let's go ahead and give all of the... Knitted objects, gift to Ashley, gift to Ashley, gift to Ashley. To Ashley. Oh, Ayaka just became friends with Cottontail. That's so cute. And Grey Puchan is low on battery, so we'll go ahead and turn her off in a second. I think these two Sims are actually new Sims who came with, let's see, who, who were created by our patrons. So I'll introduce ourselves to them in just a second. There's a lot going on all of a sudden. All right, Grey Sean, you can be done recording. Yay! Look at all these awesome knitting projects that we're exchanging. That should definitely help their friendship. Oh, that's so cute. Knitting! Oh, look, it's a knitting video! Okay, so that definitely is not a generic video. It's a skill video. Fingers crossed that that'll be valuable. Uh, and knitting, 
tiny hats for tiny puppies. Find them on Plopsy. Yay. Okay. Um, knitting for puppies. There we go. <laughs> Hopefully that'll be like a good thing. Look how happy great Nick's from receiving a great, a gifted knit. So, oh, they do have like a huge boost with each other now. That's so cool. All right, let's get the last couple. And it looks like Iggy needs some TLC. Hang in there, Iggy. <laughs> Yay. Hello. Yabara. Huh. Yay! Okay, that should definitely help us out. Now we'll just have to like list some of these things on Plopsy. Let me go ahead and let's do a friendly introduction to these two people. Um, and well, actually, let's go ahead. Chomps, like you really need to stop barking. How do I tell him to like stop barking? Scratch favorite spot. Let's give him a, maybe a treat. Is that what he needs? There we go. We're trying to do stuff to help you, buddy. Sheba. Note to self, working with a childish friend to go ahead and try to like get some income. Maybe not the best choice because we for sure don't have as much money as I was hoping. But maybe it will pay off in the future. She just thinks ahead. I think this is Ziva. Yeah, Ziva Fernville. Oh, how cool. So we have now met Ziva and we've met James. Oh, there's James Ember. We met him last time too. I wonder why he's always so sad. Maybe we'll learn more about him over time. So his sim profile, we don't really know anything. Now he's happy now that he's finished his food. And then we don't know a lot about Ziva, but cool. So those are a couple more of our Patreon sims from our patrons who submitted those things. Ashley is super friendly. So she definitely introduced herself. Um, everybody just left their... Everybody just left their notebooks on the ground. That's fine. That's fine. Um, we're going to go ahead and come over. We're going to sell our simi, though. The $500 simi. That is enough to be able... Yes! That is enough to be able to go ahead and get those treats. So, technically, this knitting thing with Ayaka totally worked because we hung out with her. Let's list on Plopsy. 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 And then I'm going to add to wardrobe our bad hat because that's kind of adorable. <laughs> okay, because that, that one that one's particularly cute. All right, don't worry, we still love you. Bear Beanie is now available for all household members in the Create a Sim. Oh, that's so cute. I'm gonna have her like have an outfit where she wears that. Maybe we can sponsor our own knitting stuff in our snowboarding videos. That would be really cute. All right. And then we'll sell, we'll try to sell these on Plopsy and maybe they'll sell for something. Oh, is there not a semi capsule thing? Okay, we're definitely buying a semi capsule thing. Cuz we're going to buy some semis to Oh no! Iggy no! Quick over here. Oh my gosh, lecture about playing in puddles. Oh, the dogs are just Oh, look at this chaos. Look at this chaos. Everybody's just trying to enjoy their stuff and it's just so messy in here. All right, let's switch back over to our animal. Friend of the animals. Successfully trained out two misbehaviors. We might manage to pull it off with Iggy. She got our attention. Iggy, no! Whoa, careful puppy. All right, Iggy. All right. And then let's lecture about playing in puddles. And then come over here. Igloo, you're so dirty now. Oh my gosh, we'll have to take her to the vet. That's another wellness check we're going to have to do. Oh, Iggy. Oh, we did it. Igloo has learned not to play in bottles. We just managed to trade out another misbehavior. Now we just need to fill the love five times and successfully train out four misbehaviors. And we'll be even closer to friend of the animals. Yes. And Iggy, I'm really sorry. You're probably just hungry. Let me go ahead and give you a treat. Now we're going to have to go ahead and we are going to have to take her to the vet. I'll do that like later tonight so you guys don't have to watch it all over again. But we'll take her to the vet. We'll bathe her. We'll buy her a wellness treat. We need the semi-capsule vending machine though. So let's find, where is the vending machine, please? We want bits and bubbles, hot eats, freeze treats, simmies. Okay. So we're going to put it over here and we're going to try to go big or go home. Like our friend Ayaka thinks that we can just like go big on semi capsules. So let's do this. 
All right, let's go ahead, finish finish lecturing the dog. We'll have to take her to the vet now. Did we list everything? We listed everything on Popsy. As a thank you, once again, to our good friend. Where the heck are we going now? Oh, we're giving her pets from a different angle, maybe because she's stinky. That's really cute. All right, can we give her a treat? Okay, I think we she's too busy playing. All right, so we're going to come and we're going to buy a semi capsule. And then I'm going to see if we can actually give one to Ayaka as a thank you for helping us out tonight. All right, so we received one, an uncommon semi capsule. You cannot hand it over to another sim. Oh, and she's feeling inspired. I made that. Oh, that's so cute. So Ayaka's feeling super inspired. So I think she got something out of this too. All right, let's come have her get a semi capsule and let's see if Ayaka's theory of using semi capsules to get rich could work. Let's open the semi capsule. What do we get? Madame Zoe! Let Madame Zoe look into her crystal ball and see what your future might hold. Now you can collect Madame Zoe as one of the official Simi gang. Complete your Simi's collection today. <gasps> and she sells for a hundred! What? Is that so broken? Is is Ayaka on to something? Can we legitimately just like stand here? Oh, we don't like being in this poorly decorated area? What? Is it because we're next to like a trash can? Ayaka, I think you're on to something. Okay, and now we have a common semi capsule. But maybe this is like gambling. Is this like when you spend tens of thousands of dollars on Pokemon cards and you're just hoping you get like one that's worth something? Because this could be bad. Let's open another semi. And we got Yamachan! Oh, Star rank one. The adorable Yamachan stumbled upon Mount Kumarabi and loved the town so much they decided to stay as its mascot. Now you can collect Yamachan as one of the official Simi's gang. Complete your Simi's collection today. 250? We broke it! That's it, we broke it. Here I was so ready to struggle and 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 like try so hard to be able to get these semi capsules. <laughs> And we just freaking broke it. I can't believe that. Ayaka, you were absolutely on to something. Let's let her keep her semi capsule. She got Jasmine Holiday. Jasmine Holiday is here with a special challenge. Now you can collect Jasmine Holiday as one of the official Simmies gang. Complete your Simmies collection today. Oh, that one only sells for 50. <gasps> so we've just been really lucky. That's what it is. Also, are we doing a formal introduction? It kind of looks like we are friendly. Oh, we must have done a formal introduction. Oh, hey, we know this person. We know this Sim. Look, and she's all dressed up. It's Hinata. Oh, cool. Maybe she came over to see what we were doing. Let's ask about her day real quick. And then you know what? Because we have so much going on, we're going to brighten her day. Your beautiful kimono. I think that's a kimono. It might be a yukata. I'm going to have to double check. Yeah. You look awesome. It looks more like a yukata to me, maybe. Maybe. You look fantastic. It's really nice to see you. I'm glad you like the dogs. Um, let's see. We're having a pleasant conversation. And then let's just do a heartfelt compliment. And then maybe... Maybe... Okay, and then finally... Oh, my, our poor girl. Our poor... Our poor... Ayaka is just like done. She has had a big day. So you know what? I think we're good now. We have now learned that you can apparently make like bucks, a lot of bucks, being a cool geek and just selling things on the semi capsules <laughs> over and over again. Um, so I'm going to go ahead. We're going to take Iggy to the vet to get that wellness treat. While we have the money, I'm going to get the age up treats for the puppies. And then next time when we come back, we'll go ahead and see what other things we can go ahead and fulfill for Ash. Ashley's desires, like maybe oh, getting enough money to build the igloos for the dogs on the slopes so we can just hit the slopes and spend some time up there. That would be awesome. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Let's go ahead and get one more semi capsule now that I'm like, oh my gosh, these are broken. We're going to go ahead and see how that works out. And if you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. Let's go ahead and open up this uncommon semi capsule. What do we get? Bloody! 
star rank one, the most lovable bellhop around. Buddy is young at heart, but knows what he wants in life. Now you can collect Buddy as one of the official Simmies gang. Complete your Simmies collection today. 25, oh, we lost money on that one. All right, learned our lesson. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.